Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have two new VTXs from AKK and these were provided me by AKK for overview and review. Now we have two models here. We have their latest two models which is the FX2 and the X2. This is the FX2 which is a stackable one and this is the X2 which is a not stackable one with a little bit of a less features. So let's get into this real quick. So one of their main features here is that they are both saying that they go up to 1200 milliwatts so these would be considered somewhat of a long range vtx setup which is very perfect because currently i'm working on the second seven inch low kv build now there's also going to be a third now for the next two we're going to be using these two guys i'm going to be using this one for the next one so let's just take a look at this so if you first take a look, obviously you'll see a little microphone right there. So we do have mic support. So that's, you know, if someone really likes that, you have that option. Uh, we do have an LED here to display the channels and it's a 40 channel receiver. However, they're crossing out three uh, channels, which the FCC does not allow. So I don't know if that's coded in to not allow those three extra channels, but you know, it could be just, um, on the paper here just so they can sell it in different countries i don't know we'll figure it out later anyways so as you can tell here it's 7 to 26 volts so that's very good so it takes 7 to 26 volts it does even have a 5 volt regulator for the camera and we should definitely test the noise suppression or the noise filtration on these boards i think that's going to be a pretty interesting video that's what i'm going to be doing actually before we build them so that's something pretty interesting. So it does have 5 volt and there's video. This is where your camera would go in or your, your video out from your flight controller. And there's really nothing else to it. And here's the button to change the channels, power and everything. So what they're stating is it runs up to, it's selectable up to 1200 milliwatts. But here what I'm seeing, it's just saying maximum of 800. Now again, this could be for, you know, so they can actually import them into specific countries and sell them due to the FCC regulation. But, you know, and again, I don't know, but they're really stating that it takes, it goes up to 1,200 milliwatts. So obviously this is stackable. We do see a nice fat core right there or inductor. And um, it, it looks like a clean board. It actually looks, um, it seems like it's, conformal coated if you can see that can you see that shine they usually don't shine like that but it could be conformal coated and i could also be absolutely wrong so what are we greeted here with we have some nice pre-wrapped silicone wires to clean keep the overall build clean and uh, you get one separated for your battery if you needed one and then one for your other connections which is pretty nice and it's using the newest latest um kind of a default thing going for the newer vtx is here lately so as you can tell right there once we figure out how to install it so there we go all right so that's in and it's using an mmcx port now here's the port they only provide you with one here and i think this is a sma so or rpsma you could actually choose i think i chose the rpsma so that's pretty nice right there and uh overall it's, it's nice board i mean it looks really nice quality like like really beautiful it just looks absolutely clean so let's take a look at the normal. I think this is the X or FX. I forgot which one's this one. Yeah, this is the X2. That one's the FX. This is the FX. This is the X2. All right, guys. So this is pretty interesting, actually. So one one first main thing, they're using the exact same chipset for the transmitter. However, what they've done here, instead of making it all stackable, all of this right there is actually put onto the other side of the board, as you can tell right there. We still have the mic up in the corner, so it's pretty nice. So you can, you know, you could have both of them, but let's just say for some people, I want I, some people like this for some reason. Other people like this, they don't want to have to deal with this zip tying it and just constantly annoying them and being all over the place. So they're both exactly the same. It's just the... Um, the stacking solution if you want to say so they are pretty nice um akk is, is is the manufacturer of these and they're doing manufacturing for other bigger companies uh which people you end up sometimes when they see the same kind of vtx they'll say it's cloned but they're you know they're the official manufacturer here and everything else is just oem rebranded so and they do have great customer support i mean they do reply from what i hear and from when i ask them a question they do quickly to reply to me um so that's very nice so these are considered long range i doesn't say anything about overheating or you know temperature 
protection of dropping the uh, milliwatts or burning itself or anything of that nature but uh we'll we'll figure it out very soon um and as you can tell here we do have smart audio on both of them and i think they should be working actually so yeah that's really it that's gonna conclude it for these two videos just wait up the next build we have on the channel is the jeb rc mark 2 7 inch and he's gonna be rocking the f60 um low kv motors and um we also are gonna have another seven inch build which is a diatone low kv with the x foot 2207 low kv motors and we're just gonna do a nice little shootout and then later on probably drop the frame sizes of those and then go with the 5 and 6s and see how that that's going to perform because that's going to be pretty interesting to watch really so i really can't wait to set this up this is going to be the first one i'm actually going to build here and um for some reason i just trust it. it just looks so clean it looks really nicely made actually so you have smart port and you have everything so yeah well that's it guys so that's gonna conclude it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it akk is doing some awesome stuff and a big shout out to akk for providing these to me um thank you so much and we'll be taking them for review very soon on the channel and i really hope you guys enjoyed it and please consider joining me my patreon it really supports the channel you could also visit shop sign up to the newsletter i sell some of my used components for absolutely drop dead cheap once you sign to the newsletter, I usually tend to send out an email five or six hours before I release the products. Uh, so you have a chance of getting it because it's just first come first serve basis. We've already did our first sale the other day and it was pretty successful. I just sold a bunch of, not a bunch of things, like three things for a very good price. And uh, I'll be doing more of that also for micro quads, goggles, motors, ESCs, whatever and um yeah that's it guys so check that check it out i'll leave a link to it down below and i'll leave a link to these guys down below also go ahead and check those out and i will see you next time see you guys take care